My name is Yakinina Masan, and this summer I worked along Dr. Huaju and Leslie Curiel in the Pediatrics and Gastroenterology Department. This summer we are focusing on the NHEA protein. NHEA is in a family of many proteins that have vital functions for the human body. The G NHEA protein is present in the GI tract, the eyes, the liver, and the reproductive system. NHEA specifically is a sodium hydrogen exchanger, while it also produces Leydig function, acrosomal formation, mitochondria distribution, and pH regulation. This summer, along with my mentor, Leslie Curiel, we are focusing on NHEA's association with the male reproductive system. It was discovered that in male knockout mice, they had various complications with their male reproductive system. They had smaller testes, decreased sperm production and mobility, and ultimately infertility. We are trying to find the correlation of the LGR marker and the age differences between wild type and knockout mice to discover NHEA's effect on the male reproductive system. We did so by genotyping and harvesting. We genotyped by getting samples, tissue samples, from the ear, tail, and toes to determine what genotype they were using, PCR or polymerase chain reaction. We did so and we discovered if it was a knockout, which is minus minus, plus minus, or plus plus for future harvesting and breeding. We harvested at four, eight, 12, and 20 weeks to find a distinction with visual observation and histology. It was discovered that within 12 weeks, there was a wide distinction between wild type and knockout reproductive systems. This can suggest that NHEA does have a lot of impact on it and we can also stain the stem cells to determine the migration between these periods of time. This is to ultimately find effects at, of the NHEA protein and how it has correlation to infertility and how we can apply this to human implications. Further questions I would have is since if this does not affect women, how is estrogen correlated to NHEA and how can that information help male infertility? Additionally, can other proteins be put together to mimic the product that NHEA makes in the body? And another question I have is how this can be applied to humans in this day and age.